So with this question, it will carry on. So here we've got our first part, and then it moves on to um, extra questions after this. So it says that in the diagram, D, E, F, G, so where are you, D, E, F, G? D, E, F, G um, is a cyclic quadrilateral. They tell us that D, E is parallel to G, F. Okay, uh, D, E is produced to R. T is another point, E, G, E, F, T are drawn. Um, some of the stuff that they say is really weird. Like, of course, EG is drawn. Of course, ET was drawn. What else would it have been? Anyways, E4 is equal to 72. And then G1 is equal to 16. Okay, so the first question says, determine the size for two marks, D, G, F, D, G, F. So D, G, F. Okay, so that is this whole angle. So remember... Now, I'll show you a mistake a lot of learners will make. A lot of learners will say that this 72 is the same as angle G2, and they'll say tan chord theorem. But remember, this is not a tangent. A tangent has to be on the outside of the circle. Okay. So if we have the cyclic quad, which they told us earlier, and we know it's a cyclic quad anyways, because E, F, D, and G are on the circle, and that's four points. So we know from a, from a cyclic quad that it's got some properties. One of those properties is that the, the, the angle on the outside is equal to the inside angle that is opposite. So what does opposite mean? Well, is this opposite? No. Is this opposite? No. It's the other one. It's the one in between those two. It's this angle here. So the cyclic quad, one of the properties is that these two angles are the same. So if you look at the cyclic quad, this is the outside angle and this would be the opposite side, okay? And so this whole angle here is the same as this whole angle here. So we could say that the answer is 72 degrees, 72 degrees, and the, the, the reason will be exterior angle of a cyclic quad. So we can then say that angle D, G, F is equal to angle E4, which is 72 degrees, and the reason is because it is the exterior angle of a cyclic quad. So from the previous question, we know that this is 72. So I'm just gonna fill in G2. Um, so G2, which is this one over here, would obviously just be 72 take away 16 which is uh, 56 degrees. So I'm rather gonna fill that in as 56. So I'm gonna take that out and I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so this question says, determine for two marks the size of angle T. Here's angle T. Okay, so you see, um, straight away I see the, as you practice this stuff, your eyes begin to just see it. Look at this, can you see the bow tie? See that? Ah, so when you see a bow tie, um, the top, those two angles are the same, and then those two angles are the same, okay? And to make double sure, um, you see this angle, it comes from this point over here. So if you extend those lines, let's see where it ends, okay? It goes to F, and it goes to E. Now if I do the same with this angle T, it should get to the same place to E and to F. You see it went to the same place, so we know that they're both coming from the same place, so it definitely is um, a bow tie. So what we can then say is that angle T is gonna be uh, 56 degrees, and that is because of angles in the same segment. Okay, you can just say seg like that. This question for two marks says, uh, determine the angle G, E, F, G, E, F. Where are you, G, E, F? Okay, so G, E, and then F. Okay, so it's this angle over here. So let's take away those lines. So it's this angle here that we are looking for. So straight away, my eyes were caught onto these parallel lines. So because of those parallel lines, um, I know that alternating angles would tell us that um, E1, E1 is gonna be 56 degrees because of alternating angles. So you could say alt um, angles, and then which lines are parallel? DE is parallel to GF, 
Okay, now we could, we could possibly look at this straight line over here and we could, we could, um, we could, sim we know that this is 56. So we could say 180 minus 72 minus 56, because we know that all of these angles must add up to 180. So we could then say that um, angle GEF is going to be 180 minus 56 minus 72. And this is because of angles on straight line. And so if you had to work out this angle GEF, it would be 52 degrees.